Half a day. Bananas. In here. It's okay. There's some Benevente, general manager of the Guam Water Works Authority. On utilities, off of office. This off of office uh, CCU. Join us to witness today's historical Michael Tilandiaco, our CCU, Mr. Joseph T. Duenas. Engineering and Technical Services, FAF. Uh, Mr. Recognize them as we. Uh, <laughs> Please be seated. Lee, uh, thank you very much. That was very nice. Uh, I'd like to also recognize Senator uh, James Moreland, who has joined us in the uh, virtual stream. Next, please, I would like to call on Mr. Miguel Bredalio, General Manager of the Guam Water Works Authority, uh, to give the welcoming remarks. Miguel? Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this special meeting and administration of the oath of office for the Consolidated Commission on Utilities. This commission will provide organizational governance for the Guam Power Authority and the Guam Water Works Authority for the next two years, as it has done since its inception. This will be the 10th commission providing such governance, and as many of you know all too well, Governance of any organization carries with it many challenges, not the least of which is managing management. John and I don't usually compare notes or discuss which of us is more of a challenge when it comes to our five bosses, but I feel like I spend much more time in the principal's office, so I'm gonna say it's me. <laughs> but besides that challenge, I can attest there are many more. And from my perspective being here for five years as GWA's general manager, being on the CCU is not an easy job. I've seen firsthand that the incoming and current members of this commission are fully engaged in the challenges that face our utilities to achieve regulatory compliance, to fund, plan, and then execute system renewals and rehabilitation, to bring, our, to bring our business processes and systems into the rapidly evolving and increasingly complex digital age and to find solutions to the less technical but more fundamental resource problem of attracting and retaining qualified and talented personnel. Some of these challenges are experienced by many organizations, and in any other time or circumstance, these alone would be daunting. In the face of the current global pandemic, the challenges are even more so. Utility services in this public health emergency are as critically important as ever, yet governments and utilities that provide these services across the nation are facing unprecedented revenue shortfalls. 
Critical operations must continue. Capital projects must continue. Terrible virus continue to shift. And while it may seem that difficult times is somber or cast a pall over these proceedings, background against which to highlight ECU has helped us to achieve, to acknowledge with hope and optimism is about to be undertaken by for the betterment of our community. Leadership of the CCU, GWA is one item away from completing the 2011 court order. We've spent hundreds of millions of dollars in new infrastructure investments, and we're in the process of executing our third five-year capital improvement program. GPA is one of the leading utilities in the region for utility scale renewable energy, and will soon have a new, modern, flexible, and efficient generation plant, adding resiliency and sustainability to our power system. There's been significant progress to date, yet a lot of work remains to be done, and we know it cannot be done without the full and unwavering commitment of these commissioners. With that in mind, Mr. Benaventi and I express our appreciation to the commissioners and commissioners-elect for undertaking this important public service, for the courage and willingness to do it in these extremely challenging times, and for the past and continued cooperation and collaboration with the many stakeholders in our island's utilities, including our governor, lieutenant governor, our legislative oversight committees, our one Guam partners at NAFAC and Joint Region Marianas, our technical and scientific advisors at Weary and UOG, and yes, even our zealous regulators at Guam EPA and the Public Utilities Commission. Your action and your leadership are essential to our progress and our success. Commissioners elect Duenas and Guthards, on behalf of the management and staff of GPA and GWA, we express our congratulations to you. And to all of the commissioners, the, the women and men of GPA and GWA look forward to rolling up our sleeves and continuing the important work of improving our island utilities for the people of Guam. My thanks to everyone for your attention and for participating today in the initial proceedings of the 10th Consolidated Commission on Utilities. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you very much. Uh, I would also like to recognize our viewing public and also our uh, ratepayers, of course, for joining us today. And at this time, I would like to invite the Honorable F. Philip Carbonito, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Guam, here to the podium to lead today's proceeding by calling the meeting to order. Thank you, John. Uh, buenas and half a day. Maybe I should do this because uh, this meeting will be called to order as your initial presiding officer. I want to thank, uh, before we proceed with the uh, administering the oath, uh, with thanking the commissioners for inviting me uh, back to swear in the newly elected officers. Um, I think it's been seven years uh, since the last time, and the room that I remembered administering the oath was a little more modest than uh, where we find ourselves today, but congratulations. It's a, it's a beautiful building. So um, at this time, uh, I will call the meeting to order as your initial presiding officer. And I would like first to uh, certify the presence and when I call your name uh, to please um, stand and be recognized. I will start with uh, Commissioner Michael A. Limtiaco. Mr. Limtiaco, uh, Commissioner Simon A. Sanchez and Mr. Sanchez and uh, Commissioner Francis um, Santos. And so um, you remain seated and so thank you and we will proceed then with the uh, newly reelected uh, commissioners um, uh, to the commission. Um, we will start uh, with Mr. Joseph T. Duenas. Mr. Duenas, if you stand up. And uh, Ms. Judith um, P. Guthards. And um, your certificates have been presented to the chair, I find I have found all the certificates to be in order, uh, certificates of election, and uh, we can proceed uh, with the ceremonial part of this um, meeting and uh, administering uh, the oath of office. And so I will like to ask the two of you to raise your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly swear, I solemnly swear that I will well and faithfully 
support the Constitution of the United States. The laws of the United States. And the laws of Guam. And that I will conscientiously and impartially discharge my duties as a commissioner of the 10th Consolidated Commission on Utilities. Congratulations. Okay, so now uh, you may be seated. Uh, we will proceed uh, with the uh, first business on the agenda. And at this time, I will call for uh, nominations on the floor for the position of chairman of the 10th Consolidated Commission on Utilities. Mr. Sanchez, you are recognized. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you raised your hand. Mr. Sanchez, you are recognized. Okay, so Mr. Joseph uh, Duenas has been nominated uh, to be the chairman. Uh, do you accept, Mr. Uh, Duenas? And is there uh, any other nominations? Mr. Santos? Okay, is there a motion to close the nomination? Okay, uh, it's been uh, moved. Uh, any objection to closing the nomination? There being none, nominations are closed. On the main question, on the election of the chairman of the 10th Consolidated Commission on Utilities, uh, Mr. Joseph T. Duenas has been nominated. All those in favor, please raise your hand. Okay, Mr. Duenas, uh, you've been unanimously uh, re-elected as chairman of the commission. I congratulate you and I ask you to please come forward and um, can preside uh, over the remaining part of this meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much, my fellow commissioners, for the honor of being elected by you to serve as your chairman for another two years. Uh, we now will move on to the Office of the Vice Chairman. So I open the floor for a nomination for Vice Chairman, Commissioner Guthards. Thank you. Are there any other nominations? Is there a motion? Is there an, uh, are the, is there a motion to close the nominations? As there are no other, the nominations for CCU Vice Chairman is now closed. On the nomination, all in favor of the, mo of the nomination, please say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion is unanimous. Thank you very much. <laughs> and we move on to the nomination for the Secretary of the CCU, Commissioner Guthards. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Michael Minchalka. Do you accept the nomination? Okay. Are there any further nominations? If not, is there a, mo is there a move to? Thank you very much. The nomination for secretary is hereby closed. All those in favor of the nomination of Commissioner Michael Minchalka to serve as the CCU secretary, please signify by saying aye and raising your right hand. Okay. Uh, Mr. Michael Minchalka is hereby uh, elected as CCU secretary. Thank you. We move on to our agenda. Uh, we have standing rules that are in effect that we have uh, approved and adopted previously. Is there a wish from the body to make any changes or to readopt the standing rules or what's the pleasure of the commissioners? Commissioner Guthards. To readopt, okay. Is there a second to that motion? Second. second. Further discussion? None? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 
Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries unanimous. Uh, based on our CCU rules, we have several standing committees and we are electing chairman for the different standing committees. I now open the floor for the nomination for the chairman for the CCU Finance and Budget Committee. Commissioner Sanchez. Finance and Budget. Mm. Commissioner uh, Francis Santos, do you accept the nomination? Okay, is there, is there a motion to close the nomination? Okay, I move that the nomination is hereby closed. All those in favor of Commissioner Francis Santos to be the chairman of the Finance and Budget Committee signify by saying aye. Aye, opposed, nay, motion carries unanimous. We now have the commission, uh, I mean the committee, the chairperson for the committee on audit committee. Uh, is there a nomination from the floor? Commissioner Francis Santos, you're recognized. Commissioner Guthers, you accept the nomination? Yes. Okay, are there any further nominations? And move to close the nomination. Okay, the motion to close the nominations has been done. All uh, the nominations are hereby closed. All those in favor of Commissioner Judith Guthridge to be the chairperson of the CCU Audit Committee signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Unanimous. We now move to the chairperson for the CCU Cybersecurity Committee. Is there a nomination? Commissioner Guthridge. Commissioner Chaco, do you accept the nomination? Okay, are there any other nominations? The nominations are hereby closed. All those in favor of Commissioner Michael Chaco to be the chairperson of the uh, Cybersecurity Committee, signify by saying aye. Aye, oppose. Oppose, nay. Motion carries unanimous. I know often the floor for the commission, for the chairperson of the commission, CCU Commission, I mean CCU Communications Committee. Uh, Commissioner Guthards. Commissioner Sanchez, do you accept the nomination? Uh, is there any further nominations? Uh, if there's no further nominations, there's a um, move to close the nominations. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, all those in favor of Commissioner Sanchez serving as the chair of the CCU Communications Committee, signature name, motion carries unanimous. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Opposed, oppose, nay, motion carries unanimous. That was just in case. Signify by saying aye. Aye, opposed, nay, 